Co. We begin live with Matt Howerton in Wilmer. Yes, yeah, Cynthia, dozens attended a vigil here tonight for Ian and his mother outside of their home. Police say that she was killed by the man who took Ian, his own father. And tonight we are learning so much more about this woman from her very own daughter. Their voices easily heard on Oakdale Street in Wilma. Prayers for Zuleika Lopez and her son, 10 year old Ian Aguilar, who has now been missing for two full days. It is urgent, urgent, urgent that y'all share my brother's face. This Zuleika's daughter and Ian's sister, Zuri Lopez. The last thing she told me was she loved me, and the last thing I always say to her is that I love her too. Ian, Zuleika, and Juan Aguilar Cano lived in the home towering over the candles, flowers, and balloons here. It's where Zuleika was killed Tuesday. Police say by Aguilar Cano just before he abducted Ian and left town. This man had a lot of time to run with my brother. Their vehicle found abandoned at this bus depot in Houston. Tornado Bus Company frequently makes trips to Mexico, a place Aguilar Cano has ties to, Zuri says. This man was born in Mexico, so I'm worried that he's trying to get there. The 48 year old mother had worked for the city of Dallas for 19 years. She never showed up to work on Tuesday. Ian, Zuri says, never showed up to school. Called his family member, told his family member that he did something very bad and that he should just kill himself, which I agree. And Zuri has troubling questions. She tells us police came by the home early in the day Tuesday around 7.30 a.m. after a relative reported something might be wrong after getting a troubling call from Aguilar Cano. Probably was too late to do anything for my mom, but definitely did not help Ian's plight. But Suleika's body never discovered until Zuri tried gaining access to the home later in the day around five. She wants to know why police never searched the house until she got there. As for a motive, she tells us Zuleika's relationship with Aguilar Cano, not the best. Was in a toxic relationship with this man. She was fed up with him. She wanted him out of her life and had finally made plans to make that happen. The main focus now is Ian, who Zuri says is autistic and very reliant on his mother, keeping his picture in the public eye to bring him home. Everybody keeps asking how they can help, and that's the only thing I can think of. Is all she asks. In Wilmer, I'm Matt Howerton.